we have a new grandchild. He's not yet a year old. And so we've been seeing lots of videos of those wonderful milestones, feeding himself, taking his first steps. And it's interesting that for a child to develop, parents must do that one thing that runs counter to their parental instincts. Stop doing for the child. If you want the child to walk, stop carrying them. If you want the child to feed themselves, stop feeding them. It's interesting, too, that children tend to not be overly frustrated with that, or at least not so much that they don't keep trying. Somehow determination overcomes frustration, and they achieve. And we all celebrate. It's such a joyous occasion. I think Jesus is talking about that sort of thing when he says, blessed are the poor in spirit. When your spirits are down, when you are low, when there is not one drop left in your glass, that is when you can be filled. That is when God's spirit can fill you. When all that you've filled up your container with is gone, you have an opportunity to be filled by God. And the blessing in that is that like a child, if you can get past the frustration and have the determination to allow yourself to be filled by God's Spirit, then what you have before you, within you and around you, is the kingdom of God, the beloved community. You have heaven breaking in here and now, because that's what Jesus promised. And that's the blessing of being poor in spirit.